Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to make the layers for the sun catchers that I've been making. I've had just an awful lot of people ask me how to do it, and it's incredibly easy. So let's go ahead and get started. This butterfly right here, uh, this is what we're going to use. I love this designer's files. I found them recently, and I just can't get enough of them. Um, this, this file is actually, as of the time of this video, in a um, a bundle full of so there's nine by this designer and one of the bundles in this bundle and then there's three other if you like weeding files there's three other bundles full of files for weeding um on top of just i mean a ton of other files it's it's a huge bundle like i said i'll link it in the description of the uh the video so let's go ahead and get started this right here we'll take and uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to over here, go to image tracing. And well, here. So first, I mean, obviously, I'm just assuming most of you already know this. The way I imported this, I went up to file, import SVG, FCM file. Um, and then I just navigated to where my uh, SVG file was and I imported the SVG file. So now what you need to do next is go to image tracing. Choose local image from computer. And mine is already set up. It's already right at it. But for this one, you're going to want the PNG. Uh, and then open that, which just so you know, all of these images, when you buy from design bundles, they come with, you know, most of them uh, come with all of the file types. So all of the most common ones. So go ahead and do that. And then you're going to press OK. It's already tracing the outline. Press OK. And now the first thing you need to do is you need to size this. So you need this the exact same size as this. So this right here is, uh, what do we have here? We have, here, I might as well just make this, make that an even six. And make this an even six. Now, the next thing you need to do is with this selected, you're going to go over here and you're going to go to edit. And then you're going to go down here to offset. Okay, and you're going to go click OK. Okay, so these are your three layers. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, make a circle. Sorry, just one second. Got a little distracted. So let me make a circle. And it uh, doesn't matter for the time, the size of the circle. Let's take it over here. Oops. Okay. And now let me go ahead and show you. Sorry. Don't want my screen cluttered up. Okay. So. This is going to be your first layer, okay? When I'm doing this layer, I always do that in, um, I do it in 651 vinyl. Just basic, old, flat, one color, 651 vinyl, okay? So, oops, fell. It's not the right color. So, let's say we're gonna make, oh, let's say we're gonna make that dark gray. Okay, so this is your first layer. Okay, now your second layer, that is going to be Style Tech Glitter. Okay, so Style Tech Glitter, I know people always say you can't make glitter a base layer or a bottom layer. Style Tech Glitter is different. It's, um, it's almost as if it's set in like a gel. So it has zero texture to it. So you can make it a base layer. And I will also link in the description uh, where I get my style tech, um, or where you can get style tech and, um, also where you can get, uh, the top layer, which is the holographic layer. And that layer is, um, that is Starcraft and that is the absolute best holographic self-adhesive I've ever found. I've been doing this for a long time and it's just 
it has this, this sparkle to it. You've seen it, you know, so it has a sparkle to it that is just, it's amazing. Um, so I'll link both of those in the, in the description. So, okay. So let's make this, let's say just for, oh, just for, oops, sorry about that. Just for the heck of it, let's make that, uh, like about that, just to kind of show as if it were a glitter range, put in the front. Okay, so that's your second layer, okay? And your top layer, oops, top layer is your cutout. So these two are silhouettes, and then your top layer is the cutout. So let's just, for the heck of it, say we're going to make that nice blue. Okay, and then that would go, oops, range from the front. Okay, and that would go here. Okay, so that's how you make them. Super duper easy. So I will make a video of me physically putting one together so that you can see um, how I layer. But if you want to try beforehand, I mean, it's, it's super basic. I do these two layers first. So I take, I take this layer and I weed all three of them and I take this one and I get this on the transfer tape first and then I lay that on top of this one and I pick up that and then I have both of these on the transfer tape and then I bring them over to this one and I bring, and I pick up that one and then I have all three of them on Oops. and I have all three of them on and then I lay those on top of my blank. Now. I'm going to show you, I should have showed you this a few steps ago and I didn't. I'm going to show you how to now take this. Uh, I mean, it's pretty, pretty basic. But so the blanks that I'm using are five inches. I get my blanks from a, a laser cutter called Blankety Blanks. I'll link her business group in the, um, in the description of the video. Uh, so she's a game changer, has been for me. It is, it's just amazing to have a laser cutter that will custom cut for me. Um, you know, as a vinyl cutter, it's really nice to have that. So, I mean, these, these, these sun catchers I've been wanting to make for a really long time. It's, it's been really exciting to be able to make them. So like I said, I'll link her business group in the, in the description. So, okay. So once you get to this point where you have your three layers and your circle, just go ahead and select all of them. And now you're going to make the whole thing five inches. Okay, and that's going to give you the correct dimension for, and at that point you can delete your circle. You don't need that any longer, but that'll cut these the right size. So these are all set to cut the right size to fit on that blank now. But there you go. That's how you do it. Um, I have a Facebook group called um, Free Designs and Fonts for Cricut and Silhouette. It's obviously for uh, scan and cut as well. Um, it's just, I, it wouldn't let me fit all three names in, and and that's what it was. So you can find me on Facebook and join us, friendly group of like-minded people. Um, and I add free designs that I allow commercial use on regularly. I'm in the process of building up a really large port portfolio on there for, of designs for you guys all to use. Um, so like I said, find me on Facebook and. Uh, I'll link that in the description also. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask them. Have a good day.